Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are your go-to source for clear, concise, simple, easy to understand information. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have a health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you're in the longevity business and you have a health challenge one of your clients is dealing with, we are here for you. 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010 is our number. And of course, if you have a success story you'd like to share or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844 844- Two, three, six, sixty, ten is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please head over to my websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. You can order products right off the website. And of course, you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website as well. Or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866 866- 735-2470 if you want to sign up on the phone. We'd love to have you on the Bright Side Ben team. We can help you build your business if you're entrepreneurially minded, if you want to make some money helping change the world, if you want to make some money, not just to make money, but making money and helping improve lives. Longevity is the business for you. I've been doing it for almost 20 years now. I've been uh, a, a key, uh, a part of the Longevity, Longevity business, Longevity uh, Corporation for now, uh, gosh, since 1990 seven or so, well, well, pushing 20 years, and I love it, and I've done a lot of, I've seen all kinds of incredible things, I've, I personally, with my own eyes, have seen incredible results from the longevity products, from the longevity model of health and wellness, and that's really what it's all about, it's not just about products, it's about a model of life, a way to live life, a way to live life productively, effectively, and helping change the world in a positive fashion, that's what it's all about, folks, that's why we're here every day on the bright side, that's what the longevity business is about, that's what I'm about. That's what my personal, professional, and even spiritual mission is all about. If you'd like to join me in that mission, please call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470, and tell them you want to join the Bright Side Band team. And if you're interested in checking out some super duper high-end active skin health products, please go to truthtreatments.com and take a look at our retinol 5% gel. If you're dealing with aging skin or dark spots or breakouts, you need retinol, folks. Everybody needs retinol topically. It is amazing. It it is the most important active ingredient, bar none, except for perhaps vitamin C. And I haven't really come to a conclusion on which is more important, but they're both important, and that's why I use both in generous, copious, abundant amounts in all my truth treatment products. Never any preservatives, oils, fragrances, fillers, waxes, water, emulsifiers, silicon, propylene, glycol, sodium, lauryl sulfate, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our truth skin health products, just our transdermal delivery systems, as well as vitamin C and vitamin A, retinol, that is. Okay, that's uh, truthtreatments.com, by the way, truthtreatments.com. Okay, if you're interested in uh, taking, uh, uh, checking out my friend Melissa Galladay and Rebecca Kozak, every Tuesday they do a, uh, a call, a phone call. I'll be on the phone call, I think, next week or in two weeks. I'm not sure. I'll be on her phone call. Uh, she does a, a two calls every Tuesday. That would be 
Oh, that was yesterday. All right. Every Tuesday, so you can wait till next Tuesday. Melissa and Rebecca do phone calls on various nutritional subjects. Her number is 408-638-0968. That's the number for the call, and I should say 408-638-0968. Meeting ID 579-044-9276. For some reason, I thought today was Tuesday. So uh, I was going to read that, but in any case, you can check that out next Tuesday. And I think I might be on the call next Tuesday or maybe the week after. Okay, so we are talking connective tissue, connective tissue in the aging process, connective tissue in the disease process. I know we've been spending a lot of time on this subject, but considering its relationship to the disease process as well as to normal, so-called normal aging, the stooping over appearance, the breakdown in blood vessels, the deterioration of the bone and the, the structural components of the body, I think talking about the connective tissue is a worthy and valid subject. There is no chronic degenerative disease that does not at least indirectly involve the connective tissue, and there are many chronic degenerative diseases that directly involve the connective tissue. Even health challenges that don't seem like they're connective tissue related, things like liver disease, heart disease, dementia, have at least some connective tissue involvement, which means supporting connective tissue with nutritional supplements and dietary strategies and lifestyle strategies like moving the body are important for all chronic degenerative diseases and for the aging process. One of the most important and I think fascinating aspects of the connective tissue is its moist hydrated nature. In order for the connective tissue to do its work, it must be flexible. The connective tissue is constantly morphing. If you could see what the connective tissue looks like in action, it is absolutely mind-blowing. It's constantly shape-shifting and morphing and splitting apart and reconnecting in this living nature. And that's exactly what it is. It looks like a life form, and it is a life form. It is intelligent. It is alive. And in order for it to do its work, it has to have this kind of flexibility. And this flexibility requires hydration, requires water, but not just any water. The water that is connected up or linked up or uh, 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 relating in relationship with the connective tissue is organized water. It is structured water. And this structuring is a consequence of the interaction between the proteins in the connective tissue and the water molecules themselves. It is absolutely mind-blowing and not something that we've really understood for very long. Only maybe the last 20 or 30 years have we understand, understood the molecular nature, the molecular relationship between H2 O molecules and connective tissue molecules. When they interact, electricity is generated, the water becomes crystalline. That is mind-blowing. And the crystalline water is what accounts for this remarkable living nature of the connective tissue. The relationship between the, crystal, the water, the now crystalline water, and the connective tissue is what gives the connective tissue life. This combination of, of collagen, basically, connective tissue isn't exactly collagen. It's a complex made up of collagen as well as other fibers like elastin and reticulin, as well as what, are, what is called ground substance, which contains things like hyaluronic acid and glucosamine. This whole complex, which we call connective tissue, we can, we can, we can kind of just say, for our, intent, for our purposes here, a collagen. We're going to use collagen as a synonym for connective tissue as long as we keep in mind connective tissue is much more than collagen, but the, the bulk of it is collagen. And so this combination of collagen and water occurs in this microscopically thin layer. I, I don't even know. It, it's probably sub-microscopically. It's probably quantum. It's probably sub-molecular. There's this interaction between the water and the connective tissue. It structures, the, it structures the ordinarily chaotic water, and it also generates an electrical charge. And this electrical charge is absolutely absolutely critical for the movement of fluids through the connective tissue. Not just in the connective tissue that's holding everything in place, but in the connective tissue in the blood vessels. That, this is where the link between connective tissue and deterioration, a connective tissue and its deterioration, and the disease process is most clear. In the deterioration, the degeneration, the breakdown of the connective tissue in the capillaries and in the veins and in the arteries. Under healthy circumstances, the blood flows. Remember, blood is like 70% water, right? Under ordinary circumstances, the water in the blood is flowing 
at least partially, via the interaction between the, the electrical charges in the connective tissue and the blood itself. It's not necessarily the pump, the heart, that's pumping this. We'll talk, uh, we'll talk more about this when we come back from our break. 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. We are back on the Bright Side. Pharmacist Ben here. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on, on our archive pages at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can order Longevity products right off the website. And if you miss a program, there are uh, a Bright Side program. We've got archives at brightsideben.com and also benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that up. That's a great website. You should check it out, benfuchsarchives.com. Uh, let's see what else I want to tell you here. If you want to purchase our Truth Skin Health products, go to truthtreatments.com. Take a look at our Retinol 5% Gel as well as our Truth Serum, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and a Truth Balm. If you want one product, you want the Truth Serum. That's the one to get if it's just one product. I suggest you get all four, but if you just want one, get the Truth Serum first, and then if you're dealing or you're concerned about anti-aging or you have accelerated aging or dark spots or thinning skin or you want to prevent all that, then you want our Retinol 5% Gel. Uh, that's all at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so continuing on with connective tissue, and by the way, we've got a full, uh, full board of empty calls. I'm not sure how to say that, but we've got all empty lines now at 844-236-6010. If you want to give us a call, you'll get in first at 844-236-6010. If you're dealing with what's called vascular disease, things like uh, atherosclerosis, which is the leading cause of death in this country, the leading cause of heart disease, clotted uh, uh, plaques that form inside the arteries in the heart, if you're dealing with aneurysms or you know somebody dealing with aneurysms or Raynaud's disease or blood clots, all of these are what are called vascular diseases. Vascular meaning blood vessels. Vascular comes from the Greek word for hollow tube. Our body is made up of literally tens of thousands of miles of hollow tube. I think it's like 50 or 60,000 miles of hollow tubes. How the heck does that happen? The hollow tubes, of course, I'm referring to are the vascular tubes, the, the blood vessels, the arteries and the veins and the capillaries. The 60,000 miles is largely composed of connective tissue. So thus, once the connective tissue breaks down, we're going to have a problem. We're going to spe specifically have a problem with the blood flow. Now, one of the ways the blood flows through this vascular system is through electricity. We've been told, and your doctor probably believes, and most people believe, that the heart is the pump that pumps the blood. Well, yeah, to a certain extent, but it doesn't do all the work. It can't possibly pump fluid through 50,000 miles of vessels. And on the return trip, you don't even, you're going against gravity. The heart can't possibly do that kind of work. So what is it that pumps the fluid through, or the, the, that uh, stimulates the movement of fluid, I should say, through the vascular system? Well, it's largely this electrical reaction that's occurring between the connective tissue and the fluid in the blood. Why is this important? Because when the connective tissue breaks down, this fluid will not move appropriately. When the connective tissue in the capillaries is particularly, but in the entire vascular system, the capillaries are super, super tiny vessels, but really, when the connective tissue in the vascular system breaks down as a result of nutritional deficiency, particularly in vitamin C, this is why vitamin C, one of the reasons why vitamin C is said to be the primal panacea, good for everything, because it is the critical element in the production of connective tissue. And if you've been listening to this program for any length of time now, if you understand the importance of connective tissue, you can see why vitamin C is considered to be a panacea, good for everything. So once the connective tissue breaks down due to nutritional deficiency, due to sugar, make no mistake about it, sugar will destroy connective tissue. Toxicity from drugs will have a negative effect on connective tissue. Toxicity from the digestive system will have a destructive effect on the connective tissue. Low oxygen flow, whether it's from, from uh, poor respiratory techniques or whether it's the result of broken down connective tissue. This is where you get a vicious circle. The broken down connective tissue interrupts oxygen, oxygenation, which causes more connective tissue breakdown, which interrupts oxygenation even more. And inflammation gets in the way. The, the point here, folks, is these are all lifestyle issues. This has nothing to do with a doctor. 
Nothing, nothing, nothing to do with the medical model. The only reason we think it's a med- all of this stuff is a medical concern is because nobody's giving us the straight scoop, partially because they don't know it, partially because they don't want to know it. They don't want us to know it. So if you're dealing with uh, varicose veins, for hemorrhoids, with cellulite, with heart disease, with vascular disease, with bone disease, you got a connective tissue problem. And because of the vast majority of what makes up our bodies, the human body, is this water connective tissue combination. You probably heard that 60% of the body is water. Well, after you take the water out, another 30% is connective tissue. I don't know what the math is on that, but that means a lot of us is connective tissue and water. The vast majority of us. I'll have to do the math and figure what that out, what that is. But it's a huge percentage of our body is connective tissue and water. And this water, as we said earlier, is not just important for hydrating the connective tissue, but it's important for the electrical energy. It's also important for information. Yes, water stores information. Water is an information carrier. And connective tissue is an information carrier. And the interaction between water and the connective tissue is not just electrically active. It's not just supportive. It's also what turns our connective tissue into this vast network network information processing system like a computer. The connective tissue, the living connective tissue is like our body's brain. It's like the, it's the brain in the lower half of our body. It connects everything and it stores information. It connects all the cells, all the components, all the, all, all the structures and tissues. It, it, it not only connects them, it informs them. It tells them what's happening. The connective tissue tells the cells what's happening, better or worse. When you cut yourself, that message is communicated to every one of the 100 trillion cells in the body via the connective tissue. When you get massaged, the, the, the pressure from the massage is being communicated to every cell of the body. It's upregulating massages, improving the health of, upregulating the secretion of every one of the cells of the body via this connective tissue information processing system. The entire connected tissue matrix and pretty much all the liquid in the body is like one vast computer that stores and processes and works with information. And our bodies remember every one of our experiences via this information storage capacity. Every one of them. Accidents, traumas, sprains, wounds. These are all remembered by the body. And guess what? There's a major connection between brain energy the brain in our head and connective tissue, between how we experience events and connective tissue. So even just our thoughts about events, our perceptions of experiences and the circumstances in our lives will affect our connective tissue and then affect every one of the cells in our body, every one of our muscles, every one of our bones. This makes our entire body, head to toe, a biological computer. Even though it appears like the various components of the body, the gums and the bones and the blood vessels and the brain and the skin and the digestive, uh, digestive tube, the, uh, the digestive tract, even though it may look like these are all separate components, and even though the, re- the uh, reductionist medical model will treat every one of these components as separate because back in the day they thought they were separate, and medicine is stuck in the 16th and 17th century, yes, the medical model is from the Enlightenment, which was a good thing back then, but not a good thing now. This idea of separating the body into its components is a, a, a byproduct of the, uh, of the Enlightenment from the 16th and 17th century. It's a vestige of what's called Newtonian physics, which is the physics of mechanics. It does not take into account the unified, coherent, electromagnetically connected whole nature of the body. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll take a quick break and come back with more good health information and you and your phone calls right after this. 844-236-6010 is our number, and we do have lines open for you. All right, we're back on The Bright Side. Pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. This is your common sense nutritional show that's not so common sense because nobody tells us these things. But when you think about it, everything we talk about here is just pretty much logical. Health is logical. Disease is logical. There's no real mysteries to the disease process. And if you're told that your disease is idiopathic, meaning we don't know what the heck causes it, that's... Uh, that's nothing more than the sign of a intellectually lazy healthcare professional. 
You shouldn't have to listen to a pharmacist on the radio tell you how these things work, although I'm, I'm honored and proud and thrilled to do it. This is something that our doctor, by the way, the word doctor means educator, the word doctor means teacher, this is something our doctor should be telling us. 844-236-6010 is our number. We've got lines open for you. If you want to check out any of the longevity products, please go to brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. And uh, don't forget about our Truth Skin Health products. Now that it's Christmas, if you want to give the gift of anti-aging skin care, give your loved one some retinol 5% gel and some Truth Serum, by the way. I love my Truth Serum. You know, when I'm making the product, and I have people help me, but I still make a lot of it. I save the beakers and I save the vessels. I save the stuff I'm making and the product in because I don't want to lose it. The stuff is precious. There ain't no waste here. There ain't no filler. Every molecule in my truth products, my truth treatment products is going to change the quality of your skin. And you can ask anybody who's been using them. Truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right. We'll get your calls here in just a second. Got a couple cool things I want to tell you, a couple cool stories here. This one I love. Now we know why drugs don't work on pancreatic cancer. This is from the journal Cancer Cell. It turns out that uh, pancreatic can cancers, pancreatic tumors, have a different kind of texture or quality or constituency than your ordinary tumor. They're mostly connective tissue. See, cancer tumors are mostly, they're a lot of connective tissue. I don't know about mostly, but they contain a lot of connective tissue. Cancer tumors are not cancer cells only. They're also the connective tissue. You guys are going to get sick of hearing, I hope you don't get sick of hearing about this connective tissue thing because it's so darn important. Tumors are connective tissue. There are some cancer cells, obviously, but the cancer cells use the connective tissue to feed and sustain themselves. Well, it turns out pancreatic tumors are even more connective tissue than regular tumors. 90% uh, of a connective tissue of uh, the tumor, a pancreatic tumor, is connective tissue. Specifically, connective tissue, or specifically cells that make connective tissue, so-called fibroblasts. In any case, this makes the, the treatment of pancreatic cancer really difficult because most pancreatic cancer is not cancer cells. It's our cells. It's connective tissue cells. And you can't kill your own connective tissue with chemotherapy. You're going to, chemo, you're going to uh, uh, kill the cancer cells, supposedly, but it turns out that the connective tissue is a barrier to chemotherapy because remember the connective tissue is a detoxifier. The connective tissue protects the cells. So the connective tissue represents a barrier to the cells. So when you try to poison the cells with your chemo, your cancer cells with your chemotherapy, the connective tissue says no. And because pancreatic tumors have more connective tissue than other uh, cancer tumors, this makes uh, pancreatic tumors the most difficult uh, uh, cancer tumors to, to deal with, and pancreatic cancer is one of the most deadly, if not the most deadly, of all cancers. Connected tissue problem, once again. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Florida and welcome Kim to the bright side. What's up, Kim? Oh, hi. Hi, Ben. Thank you for your great work once again. Thank you. Um, I know you're such an expert on skin. I thought I'd ask you quickly. I had a couple of uh, skin tags removed by a um, nurse practitioner. Big mistake. Um, she froze them, and um, they didn't heal properly, and she wanted me to um, have it done again. She said sometimes oh, you got to do it twice. But I didn't go back to her. I went to my um, general practitioner in Orlando, and um, which I, I rarely see him. Him, but you know, I have them in case I need them. And he did a different procedure on them two weeks after she did the freezing. And he, I guess, like burnt them and used the laser thing. And it's been uh, a month and about three days, and they still haven't healed where it's just skin. It's always like a scab or a case. That's not good. Uh, let's talk about that, okay? Slow healing. Uh, do you want to ask anything else? Because I, I can. I'm going to help you out no. here. No, okay. okay, so slow healing is a sign of nutritional deficiency. Slow healing is a sign of bodily toxicity. Slow healing is a sign that there's something wrong inside the body. Skin tags are associated with blood sugar, dysglycemia, messed up blood sugar, dys, messed up, glycemia, blood sugar, okay? Skin tags and diabetes go hand in hand. You don't have to be diagnosed as a diabetic. The skin tags themselves tell you that you got messed up blood sugar. So a couple things that you're going to want to do. First of all, I'd be concerned why you're not healing. So are you on a supplement program, Kim? 
Um, I do take a lot of the supplements that you recommend. Um, okay, I'm well, not you, doing the le- longe- uh, longevity right now. Well, you don't necessarily but, need longevity, but the BT, yeah. Beyond Tangy Tangerine would help you. I would be starting to use vitamin E if you're not already, 400 yeah. IU a day. Okay, good. I would be using vitamin A, 20,000 IU a day. Mm-hmm. I would be, uh, are you on that already? Yes, yes, I am. Okay, Okay, good. I'd be doing high doses of vitamin C. By that, I mean 2,000 to 3,000 milligrams a day or even up to 4 or 5,000. Don't don't get into cramping or bloating. If you take too much or take too much all at once, it can cause cramping and bloating. I'd also be making sure I was processing my fats and using essential fatty acids, your ultimate EFAs, and and also processing fats. Then you want to work on the blood sugar connection. Uh, I'm guessing you're in your 40s or 50s, correct, Kim? No, I'm older. Okay, you're even older. So the chances are very good that your blood sugar is thrown off regardless of diagnosis. It doesn't matter. You don't have to be diagnosed that way. Just living the standard American lifestyle and on top of the fact that you have skin tags, you probably have a blood sugar problem. Start treating yourself as if you were a diabetic, ketogenic diet, uh, B-complex vitamins to process sugar, ultimate niacin to process sugar or niacin time release to process sugar. And then uh, you also want to be using my topical omega-6 healing cream that's a classic example. In fact, if you send me, Kim, uh, uh, send me your address to ben at ksco.com, I will compliment you with some uh, omega-6 healing cream, and you can experience it for yourself for being a sweet, loyal listener and saying those nice things to me at the beginning, too. I'm just kidding. I would send it to you anyway. Okay? Ben at ksco.com. Ben at Ben at K for King, S for Sam, C for Cat, O for Oscar, Say Kim from Florida in the subject heading and put your address and your phone number there, too, so I can contact you if I need to by phone, and I'll put that out to you. And if you get it, get it to me today, I, I think I, can, I might get that out today, too. I might okay. get you your... Okay? All right, Thank good. Thank you so much. Okay. God bless okay. you. Have a beautiful day. Thanks, Kim. Okay, 844-236-6010. Got lines open for you. You are listening to The Bright Side. Let's go to Carlos in Florida. What's going on, Carlos? Hi, sir. Greetings. I, uh, my, uh, my girlfriend has... Uh, Three tumors in the back of her head, where it meets, oh. where the, where the spine meets, the back of her head. Benign tumors. Uh, Benign, I assume. Um, they're not cancerous. I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, that that means yeah, benign. What part did they did they uh, give you an official diagnosis? Like what what kind of cell? Did they tell you anything about that, or what, what tissue is involved? They did, uh, but I. I couldn't get. I couldn't. I forgot to write it down. Uh, okay, no worries. No worries. It is it on the skin or is it in the bone? Do you know? It's, not, it's, it's attached to the to the to the bone because the doctor says he has got to have surgery to take them off. Do this, do that. Okay, and hang on, Carlos. We gotta take we gotta take a break. Hang on, okay? Don't go away. I'll finish up. We'll finish up when we come back. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. Got lines open for you. You're listening to the Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's uh, continue here with Carlos in Florida. Carlos, you there, sir? Yes, sir. Okay. So uh, your girlfriend's got some tumors on her head. Now, I assume you mean the skull, correctly? Correct? Uh, well, there, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah it, 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 there. Okay. So that's, that's basically a, a bone tumor. Not all that uncommon, although it is somewhat uncommon on the skull. So here's what you got to do. How old's your girlfriend? 30. Okay. So it's very young, obviously. She doesn't That's... have a gallbladder. Okay. Well, that ain't, ain't helping her. <laughs> That's not helping. She can't. Yeah, she can't. She doesn't sleep well. Okay. She, she's... Um, Carlos, she listen. Let me... in her arm. Okay. Carlos, Carlos, listen. She's a mess. I'm not saying that to be mean or to be facetious. I'm saying that so we, we know what we're dealing with here. Okay? She's a mess. Okay. Number one. And that's good news because she can recover very quickly. The, uh, you want to regard the tumors as an announcement from her body that she better get going on taking care of her health. You follow me? That's her body saying, yo. What's, your, what's her name, your girlfriend's name? Juanita. 
yes, her body is saying, yo, Juanita, we told you we, with our digestive issues, we told you with the skin issues, she's got to have skin issues. She's got to have period issues, menstrual cycle issues. She can't sleep. So the body's talking to her. Finally, it says cancer or it says tumor. Okay. But luckily it's not benign. Luckily it's not uh, malignant. So here's the deal. Number one, she's got to get her life in order. I'd be working on the digestive system immediately. She's compromised, certainly without a gallbladder. So that's a problem. But you got to do what you got. You know, you can't put the gallbladder back. So we got to deal, play with the cards we're dealt. Follow me, sir, Carlos? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so she's got to be, vi- she can no longer for the rest of her life eat like her friends or like you or like, you know, like most Americans. She can no longer do that if she's serious about her health. Her window is closing. She's got a very narrow window. This is not, this is serious. This is not uh, something to toy around with at the age of 30. So she could, uh, it would help her to fast. That always helps. And then you do a food diary and you uh, write down everything you eat and how you react to those foods, immediately eliminating problem foods. Later on, she may be able to reintroduce some of those foods back once we correct things. But for now, immediately immediately eliminating problem foods. Then she's going to want to start to work with the the, uh, health of the digestive tract. Probiotics are a must. Get her on the nightly essence. Have her eating fermented foods and vegetable juices. Aloe vera would help her. Get her a nice aloe vera drink, and you can drink aloe vera. Longevity's got some aloe vera products if you're interested, if you're doing the longevity products. She's got to get her blood sugar under control also. That means no zero tolerance as best as she can from anything that throws off her blood sugar. She should get a blood sugar monitor and keep track of it. She's, I don't care if she's been diagnosed or not. She's definitely dysglycemic, messed up blood sugar. She should be doing digestive enzymes, anything that imitates bile. Look up bile. I don't have, I can't give you the whole, I only have a few minutes here, but you should research bile, B-I-L-E. Okay. Okay. And bile supplements. She should be doing them with all her meals and ultimate enzymes with all her meals and apple cider vinegar with all her meals. Uh, the anxiety is it's kind of like a vicious circle because the anxiety is a result of all the biochemical, the biochemical mess that her body is under. And then uh, the anxiety will keep her from sleeping and, and uh, uh, slow down the healing process and cause more of a biochemical mess, which causes more anxiety. So you get this vicious spiral. The only way to cut it off, the, uh, cut the circle, if you will, is to deal with the anxiety issues externally with meditation, deep breathing, hot water, relaxation, visualization, massage. Now, some of the anxiety will get taken care of with these other things that we talked about, but immediately she needs to get to the bottom of this and she'll know she's doing, she's on the right track when she starts sleeping better. Her, uh, when she'll know that she's calming the body down when she starts sleeping better, she may want to try three to six milligrams a night of melatonin, although I hesitate to say that because you really be, need to be dealing with all these other issues before you try to try to supplement her problem away. All right? Yeah. I hope I helped you, Carlos. That's a lot of information there, but I really want to encourage you. And, and, you know, I want to inspire you also because, and her, because you can turn this thing around. You can absolutely positively turn this thing around, but your window is closing, as I say, so you got to get moving. Thanks, buddy. Have a beautiful day, man. Okay. All right, okay. Carlos. All right, that's, uh, that's tragic, but that's how we live in this country at the age of 30, to have all of these things going wrong. And unfortunately, she's more normal than not. She's more standard than not because that's just the pathetic state of um, our health in the United States of America with more doctors and more diagnoses and more insurance and Obamacare and the highest health costs in the world. This is just the sad state of affairs of our uh, moder- modern medical model and health and health system. Robert in Arizona, good morning. Welcome to the Bright Side. Good morning. Thanks What's for going? taking my call. Sure. What's going on, ma'am? Uh, so I've spoken with you before, and you asked uh, for me to give you a call and kind of follow up. I okay. Called, I was originally in Centennial, Colorado. Mm. Um, you live there? I told you. I'm sorry? Do you live in Centennial? Are you visiting? I, I did. I just moved to moved back to my hometown of Tucson. Okay, good. Well, it's a lot warmer in Tucson. You're probably enjoying the sunshine. That's that's why I'm here. That's why you're there. Okay. Are you a snowbird? T-shirt. Are you a snowbird? Or you sound kind of young, but you're not retired or anything. I I would like to be ideally, but uh, not quite there yet. Okay, got it. All right. So what's going on? So I originally called you, and I had um, what I let you know I had was pansinusitis and rhinitis. Okay. Um, So just kind of overall breathing issues. And I was also working with a naturopath in Denver. Okay. Um, 
So the issue, I've, I've paid more attention to my symptoms, but I've also done a few three-day fasts. Okay, and, I'll bet uh, you got better. I, I'll, I'll bet you that helped. It improved, but the uh, didn't the go away totally. Didn't go away. Yes, but right. it improved and when I you really, fast. Did you notice that when you fasted, the sinusitis improved? Yes. That's that is that's a law. You know, I knew that was going to happen, and I know it's going to happen because that's a law. Because you have an immune problem, and once you stop right. the stream of toxicity coming in through the gut, you're going to improve. Now, you didn't improve totally, so there's still some things we could do. Correct. That's right. And I noticed another symptom. It's just something that I've had for so long, and, and that's something I would encourage your listeners, um, you know, to be aware of other symptoms that you may have just lived with. Nice. Um, and that you Very just smart. think it's normal. Very because smart. I realized that the issue itself, or, or part of the issue, was um, major acid reflux. And, and you just dealt with it. And you just lived with right. it. And you, and you thought that's just part, that's how I'm going to have to live. Not noticing and or I not connecting of, that. Yeah, and I just thought it was post-nasal drip from the sinusitis and all that, but that it's GERD, so um, I'm not quite fully sure how to pronounce it the Latin way. GERD, gastroesophageal LPR. reflux disease, GERD. It's perfect. Right, and then more specifically, or possibly it was LPR, the laryngeal, laryngeal reflux. Like okay, that. well, that's getting a little bit technical. You don't right. really need to know that. You're splashing back up acid. You got heartburn. It's a sign that the body right. doesn't like what you put in it, basically. Right. It's so rejecting what I've you put in fasting. it. Yeah. yeah. So I've tried fasting, and then I've also tried adding, um, at my doctor's recommendation, some betaine HCL. Did it help? Some high-dose vitamin C, some zinc, selenium, as you suggested. Nice. And then I'm also on BTT now. As well, so now you said a doc. I'm hang on, hang on, just oh. one moment. I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. How did you say your doctor suggested these or your naturopath? Uh, I'm sorry, my naturopathic. Okay, doctor. got it, got uh, it. I understand. And, and you as well. She okay. agreed that you know the selenium, zinc, and um, good high dose vitamin C were great. Good. Who was your naturopath, by the way, in Centennial? Uh, so I had. She's new, so I'd rather not. Okay, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Listen, we're going to run out of time, so let me just give you some thoughts, okay, Robert? Uh, are you doing fermented foods and probiotics and such? I am doing probiotics. Okay, start playing with the dose of your probiotics. Do functional dosing. Where you up the dose until you notice that you're not getting increased results and then stay at that dose. You want as much, many of the probiotics as you can. You also want to be subsisting as best as you can on fermented foods and fermented veggies specifically because with the fermented veggies, you'll get fiber and you'll get nitrogen, all important for the gut. If you don't have a Vitamix, invest in one or at least a Nutribullet or a Ninja where you can make juices uh, with the fiber in it. And I w it wouldn't hurt you to maybe grind up some flax seeds every day and do some fiber, uh, do some, just do flaxseed fiber, put it on salads or smoothies and, uh, in your uh, veggie drink even, uh, just to get a little, bit extra, a little bit extra fiber. Calorie restriction, even if you're not fasting, calorie restriction can allow your intestine to heal. You may want to get some glutamine powder, G-L-U-T-A-M-I-N-E. Uh, do maybe a teaspoon a day. I would also be using my bone broth protein. You can get that at brightsidehealth.com and lots of bone broth as well. Uh, and then also glucosamine, uh, uh, glucosamine supplements like our glucogel caps. Robert, I'm out of time, buddy. If you want to call back, uh, I'll be glad to put you first up. Thank you so much for, your, for uh, staying in touch with us. Appreciate it. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You've been listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. If you want to check out our Truth Skin Health products, including our Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and a Skin Health blog, go to truthtreatments.com. I blog up there, and there's also all our products. And then please join me in my mission to help educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program called the Brightside Ben Team at 866-735-2470. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have an awesome, wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.